This is 22-year-old Muhammad Salah, the terrorist who carried out the attack on the Israel-Egypt border on Saturday morning. His body already returned to Egypt. He was also a member of the Egyptian border police. Should we be surprised the member of the security establishment is the man behind the attack? Not necessarily. Relations between the two countries may be strategically important as far as the leaders are concerned, but for a vast majority of the Egyptian people, Israel is still seen as a red flag. Palestine is occupied by the Zionists. We will not let the Palestinian cause go. We are with the Palestinians and we will not recognize the Zionists. Various protests against Israel have been held through the years in Egypt. One of them, more than a decade ago, almost ended in tragedy when protesters smashed through the wall surrounding the Israeli embassy in Cairo and stormed in. Only through American mediation were four Israelis trapped in the embassy rescued. For the crowds in the streets, it was nothing short of a victory. It's great when Egyptians say they will do something, and they actually do it. I believe they also said that they want to expel the Israeli ambassador and break ties with the Zionist enemy. A lot has happened in Egypt since then. The current regime is just as eager as the Israeli government to maintain the peace and will make sure it happens. Will it trickle down to the masses? Don't expect it to happen anytime soon.